Welcome back. Uh, it is time to start working on my tool holder caddy type thing again. Um, I decided to make some uh, adjustments and some uh, design changes, which is kind of cool whenever you're doing something like kind of like without plans. You end up just doing whatever you want to do. So and I made a 8 inch wide piece. This is going to be the new top. This is going to replace the half inch plywood. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer the line that I had from the plywood onto that. I found these two pieces of ply, I mean pine, left over. This is an old mission project. If you have fourth graders in Southern California, they end up having to do a mission. So, um, but the issue is if it's too heavy or if it doesn't meet the requirements, then you get docked. So, of course, me being a, a dad who dabbles in woodworking, I overbuilt it. And then they, then I realized that I had overdone it. And I didn't want to get them docked, so we scrapped it. Um, I got my two 7 by 10 pieces cut. Now I was trying to transfer that line to my glued up piece of uh, wood and then uh, we're going to cut that out on the bandsaw. Okay, so I got my side pieces uh, done and I got my top or top and bottom piece done. So now I need to work on figuring out where I'm going to put the grooves. And that should be easy because in my previous iteration I was just using this and the wood was going to, or the bottom row was going to sit on top of this. So I'm going to just transfer that line to my side pieces. The way I did this was I know that from the end of the base to the tip of the blade is one and three eighths. So from basically from here to here is one and three eighths inches. So I made the spacing of my guide one and three eighths inches. So let's put that there um, and I clamped it down to the same distance right here so that I know it's equal distance both ways. So then what I'm going to do is uh, run my cut and see if that came out okay. And then if that works out, then I'm going to do the same thing on the other piece. I'm going to do the relief on the second level. One and three eighths from there. I'm taking most of my uh, like first grab stuff and I'm figuring um, I'm going to put the hole for these, uh, the pliers, maybe these are the most extreme ones, but I think I can get away with doing the same one. So I think I'm going to put it about maybe a little bit further back. We'll center the hole maybe about right there. Alright, 
I got some holes drilled in there. Yeah, it came out nicer than I thought. Uh, missed the line a few times, but I mean, for the most part, it looks pretty uniform. I also put um, evenly spaced holes here on the back for the um, the really big screwdrivers and stuff to hang off the side. And then um, these front holes should hold everything that I need to hold, and it should look nice. So. Uh, well, until I get all my tools in there, and then it'll look like a mess. Got together finally. It's together. Uh, I'm gonna let the glue dry and then I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, shellac on it just to give it a little protecting. Um, but yeah, it, it came together pretty nice. It looks like I missed, messed up right there. I'm gonna go ahead and let that go just because, you know, I, I've already got the, the glue and the nails in it. So this guy looked like it did all right. I messed up a little bit right here, but you know what? I'm okay with that. Well, I mean, it's going to do what it needs to do, so this is what it's going to be replacing over here. Nothing. So, I suppose, let me try this Peter McKinnon thing. Wait, right, no. How about... <laughs> Alright, yeah. So there we go. Uh, yeah, I feel like <clears throat> I've accomplished quite a bit here with the amount of time that I put into it. So, can't complain. Everything is within quick grab. I have a little bit of a uh, semicircle area here to work in. And uh, that'll allow me to just, you know, do some quick grab stuff. Um, there's some other little things here, like some pokers and, you know, hooks and things like that, that I need to maybe drill some holes for. But, for the most part, we're done with this guy and it's going to sit here and do its job. So uh, next few things that are in store for me is I'm going to do a couple of reviews. Um, be my first reviews but uh, I feel like I can maybe put some information out there that isn't quite out there. Uh, one of those things being um, this um, the Portamate PM2500. Mobile base that I uh, swapped out just recently. Um, I moved up from this guy right here um, and it dropped it considerably. Probably, I don't know, uh, three or four inches. And um, now I have a regular height table saw. And uh, man, you don't know what you're missing until the crap goes out the door and you're actually using something that's worth using. <laughs> so anyways, um, and the other kinds of projects that I, or the other kind of review stuff that I'm going to be working on is this uh, California Air Tools Mini uh, Compressor. Just got that one. I can't wait to drive some nails with this one. Um, it'll be fun to do. And then as far as shop projects go, um, I still need to get this monitor and a keyboard. And I'm going to mount it right here so that I can control my CNC machine. So. I definitely got a couple things in my in store for the next few videos. Hey, yeah, look at that. So, um, but yeah, everything's been fun. Um, steady, growing, and working on my channel. And um, I'm going to also, oh, you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to work on doing some like home game, like homemade 
like workout equipment. I've been doing um, some uh, strength exercises like uh, pull-ups and uh, parallettes, L sits, things like that. And uh, I'm gonna try to get uh, try to get in better shape. Yeah, I won't be such a roly-poly. How about that one? <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Super happy with my tool caddy. Love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's right back there, man. Um, uh, I've haven't had anything like that um, other than you know just the magnet bars, and they work good. But man, I, I really like the design. And heck, for not having plans and just kind of rolling with it, <laughs> I'm happy with it. I mean, yeah, I'm happy with it. So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna try to get my uh, get this video edited and up there. So I'm putting stuff out there, and you guys have something to look at. All right, have a good one.